Well, for sure, God will continue to be who he is. His nature doesn't change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we will have the fulfillment of who we are in Christ and what human beings were always intended to be. So, will we still be creative on the new earth? Well, of course. In fact, we'll be more creative for numbers of reasons. One, no sin to hinder our creativity. <clears throat> Furthermore, no death. So imagine for a moment that some of these great, you, you talk about creative. Uh, think, think about some of these scientists who love Jesus. Uh, Clerk Maxwell uh, was one of them. Uh, uh, Faraday was one of them. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton was one of them. Now just suppose that Sir Isaac Newton, with all of the knowledge that he accumulated, suppose he'd never gotten sick, suppose he'd never die, suppose there was no curse that he was under. Well, supposing is exactly, we're supposing the new earth. That's the way it's going to be. So suppose that hundreds and hundreds of years of wisdom and study un touched by the curse. And think of the collaboration. Nobody's going to be hold back information from each other on the new earth because they're afraid that they won't win the Nobel Prize if they let other scientists in on what they're... But just suppose that could all happen, and it will happen one day. Do you, how long would it be before the space shuttle would be really old news and really primitive? So, new heavens and new earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the entire universe. The new heavens and the earth will be a recreated, refashioned, reformed, renewed universe, a new universe, not a non-universe, not non-bodies, not non-earth, but new ones. And that word uh, that, that is uh, translated new uh, is a Greek word that's the same word that's used in 2 Corinthians 5 of being a new creation in Christ. Well, old things are passed away, all things are become new. Well, yeah, but when I came to faith in Christ as a teenager, yeah, my mom and dad saw a radical change in my life. I was a new creation. But you know what? They still recognized me as Randy. They didn't say, what have you done with our son Randy? Although my mom did say, you've changed so much. I wonder what's wrong with you. I mean, what? I like it, but wow, what happened? And I was able to share the gospel with her and she came to faith in Christ. But the point is, my dog didn't start, I, I had a, a golden retriever named Champ. You don't care, but I do, so that's why I said it. And, I, and that golden retriever, who, by the way, I expect to see on a new earth, and I've got a couple of chapters on that, uh, but, but, and I'm not kidding with that, because we know there will be animals on the new earth. Isaiah 65 explicitly talks about the new earth, and that's where it says, the wolf and the lamb, the lion, the you know, they'll all lie down together and enjoy the wonders of this new creation. What would a new, a new earth, like the old earth, made new? Well, what was the second most important thing God created on this earth? Human beings, most important animals, were second most important. So sure, they will be there. But anyway, my dog didn't, like, start growling at me because uh, that's not Randy anymore. No, it is Randy. But he's Randy made new, but there was continuity. The old person made new, cer certainly the new earth. Old earth made new, but continuity. Creative, music, worship, all of these things that we do now, we will do there, but better. 